G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, we will go through all the results from week one of finals and I will uh, be held accountable for how poorly I tipped in finals week one and then we will be giving you, or I will be giving you all my finals week two tips and why I think, uh, why I'm tipping the way I am. So let's get into it. First things first, accountability. Ha, yeah. Not a good week of tipping. I've got two out of four. Uh, first game was Broncos versus Storm on the Friday night. I back Storm in this one. Look, I went based off history, off what's happened in the past, and Storm had won 14 games against the Broncos. I thought that would continue. It didn't. Broncos came out and absolutely destroyed Melbourne. Uh, they, they were too good. They were honestly too good, and I will happily say I, I could cop that. I can cop that because that was a poor tip on my part there. Uh, I thought Storm would be just too good. And mainly because, look, I had my reasonings. First of all, Storm have more finals experience. And second, the streak, 14 in a row, like a lot of people were tipping Storm. So again, look, I'll, I'll put my hand up and say I was absolutely wrong about that. I always will. I always will say when I'm wrong, and I was 100% wrong about that one. Horrible take, but credit to the Broncos, a good win there. Next up, the Panthers beat the Warriors. Now, this one, look, I saw coming. I, saw, I, th I think everybody saw this coming, especially when SJ was ruled out. Panthers just way too strong in this one. They looked outstanding. The Warriors were good in patches, especially their online uh, goal line defense. In some plays, their goal line defense was outstanding. You know, the, the Panthers are just another beast. They really are. So, look, disappointing result, yes, for the Warriors. But, you know, I think they'd be happy to move forward and get a home final uh, this weekend coming. So, yeah, look, disappointing stuff for the Warriors. But finally got a tip there. Got the Panthers. I thought it would be a little bit closer than this. But, uh, yeah, good win for the Panthers. And then Saturday night, another tip wrong. I backed the Sharks to beat the Roosters. I thought Cronulla would be too good there at home. Uh, but credit to the Roosters, man. Honestly, credit to them. You know, as much as I dislike the Roosters, you got to give credit where it's due. And they wanted this game more. Simply put, they wanted it more. They never gave up. Luke Keery and I think James Tedesco with some clutch... Uh, charge downs to stop field goals. It was outstanding. So credit to uh, the Roosters there. You know, I thought the Sharks were relatively disappointing in this one. They definitely should have won this game. This was, quote unquote, the unlosable game. It realistically was. Da James Tedesco in the bin. They should have capitalized then. They didn't. The Roosters, credit to them, man. They were brave. They deserve that win 100%. All right. The last game, I got this tip right, but I tell you what, the the quality of football we got from this game was phenomenal. It was such a good game of footy. Knights getting up 30 points to 28. Very entertaining stuff there. Um, look, to the Raiders as well, man, they, they made a bit of a comeback there in the second half. It was uh, the Knights got off to a 6-0 lead. Raiders got it back to 16-6. Knights, I'm oh, sorry, uh, yes, yeah, so yeah, that's right. And then the Raiders, uh, the Knights went to like 24-16 or something like that. And it, it was just, it was a very entertaining game of footy. I absolutely loved it. Um, both sides, you know, obviously the Raiders fans are going to be heavily upset about this result. 100% they are. But I still think they should hold their head high because this was a quality game of football. I absolutely loved it. Um, if you didn't like it, well... That's on you, I guess. But I, I thought it was a really, really entertaining game of finals footy that went down to like the 87th minute. Well, it actually went down to the 90th minute because, yeah, it was extra time, not golden point. So very, very entertaining stuff there. But let's go over to finals week two. We've got some great matches here. We've got the Melbourne Storm taking on the Sydney Roosters at Amy Park at 7.50 p.m., on Friday. So very excited for that. And then the 4 p.m. game, 
the early game it is. So it's not a, obviously it'll be a bit later over in New Zealand, um, I believe, should be, I think. Do correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Um, the Warriors against the Knights. So we've got third versus seventh. However, personally, I think this Roosters team, I don't think you can disrespect them. I really don't because they've come to play. So our third versus seventh in the Storm versus the Roosters and fourth versus fifth in Warriors against the Knights. <coughs> so who am I tipping? Why am I tipping them? Um, what, the margin? And uh, anytime try scorers. So for the Roosters um, Storm game, a few things to look at. The Roosters are obviously in red hot form at the moment. They're on a win streak. I think that last run was six in a row. Could be wrong there, but I believe it was. Uh, Storm obviously coming off a pretty disappointing loss to the Broncos. So, you know, that tilts in the Roosters' favour. They've got form going into this game. They've got momentum. They're looking good. They're coming together at the right time. Uh, am a bit concerned over a few injuries for both sides. Obviously, Ryan Pappenhausen, hope he's doing well. Um, it's absolutely... I was very upset when that all went down. So I do feel for Ryan. Hope he's all good. Um, it's good that he was cleared of a compound fracture, so that's great. But it is still an ankle fracture, which is disappointing. But I am sure he will be back. Uh, for the Roosters, Joey Manu went off in that game. And I think there was a few other little uh, minor things there. But so, yeah, Ryan Pappenhausen, uh, Xavier Coates is another one that's under a little bit of an injury cloud. And then for the Roosters, obviously, you've got Joey Manu. Uh, Roosters have won four from their last 11 games at Amy State or Amy Park. So that's 36% win rate. And Storm have won eight out of their last 10 games against the Roosters. So a lot of things are heavily in Storm's favour here. Uh, I would argue that Joey Manu is probably a bigger out than with respect Ryan Pappenhausen. Um, the reason I say that is, you know, Ryan was still getting back into it. He, he wasn't like, he was still, he, you know, he's obviously come back and he was still good, but he wasn't that same Ryan Pappenhausen that we know and love. Um, I just think Joey Marnie probably offers, offered his side a little bit more. So if he is out, that's a pretty big loss there. I do think they get Daniel Tupo back next week. However, um, Junior Palga. Ponga, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I, I believe it's actually Ponga. Um, he is back. Uh, so he's been in great form. So I do think Ju uh, Daniel Tupo will take his spot. But yeah, we'll see what comes of it. Look, if I'm being honest, I, I really do think the Roosters can get an upset win here. They're just clicking at the right time. They're clicking at the right time. Uh, I went history last week with Storm over the Broncos. I, oh, I, I don't know. Oh, I'm, go I'm going to tip... I'm going to tip Storm at Amy Park. I'm going to tip Storm at Amy Park. I think they're going to want to bounce back after that loss. We're going to tip Storm at Amy Park. That was that was tough, though. That was very tough. Um, for, for the Warriors... Oh, so, okay. So, Storm, 1 to 12 margin. If we're getting real exact margin, I'll say 6 points. Um, and then at any time, try scorer for both teams. Alyssa Katoa for the Storm and Siwa Wong for the Roosters are my uh, any time try scorers there. And then for the Warriors against the Knights... Uh, the Knights are coming off a physical loss. Uh, sorry, a physical win against the Raiders. Uh, the Warriors coming off a pretty disappointing loss to the Panthers. Understanding that there was no uh, Sean Johnson, which brings me to my next point. Arrested, annoyed Sean Johnson is going to come into this side. And at um, Mount Smart or Go Media Stadium, he is going to light it up, in my opinion. Uh, if we look at more stats, the Knights have uh, the Knights have won six out of the last ten against the Warriors. However, they've only won one out of their last five at Mount Smart and eight wins from 22 games 
at Mount Smart, giving them a 36% win percentage. The Knights, the, the run has been just amazing, but with a tough game against the Raiders, Sean Johnson coming back, uh, they, they struggle at Go Media Stadium or Mount Smart Stadium. I think the Warriors win this one. I don't think it'll be a massive margin. I'm still going to say 1-12, to but I think we'll see any time try scores from Sean Johnson for the Warriors, and then I'm going to go safe with a Dom Young try scorer for the Knights. Uh, so, yeah, they are my tips there, guys. Storm over the Roosters, 1-12. to uh, Warriors over the Knights, 1-12. to Guys, if you are going to put a multi together with my tips, please, as always, gamble responsibly. Thank you all so much for tuning into this one. I know I've gone a little bit more in-depth with this one than I normally would, but I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments. Write a comment, guys. Let me know your thoughts. And, uh, yeah, as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Oh,